Oh, then I see Queen Mab have been with you. She is the fairy's midwife, comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an elderman. Drawn by a team of little atomies athwart men's noses as they lie asleep. Her wagon spokes made of spinner legs, the covers of the wings of grasshoppers, the traces, the smallest spiderwebs, the collars of the moonshine's watery beams. Her wagoner, a small gray coated gnat, not so half, not so big as a round little worm pricked from the lazy finger of a maid. Her chariot, a hazelnut made by a squirrel or old grub, time out of mind, the fairy's coachmaker. And in this state she gallops night by night through lovers' brains who then dream on love. Over a courtier's noses who straight dream on courtesy straight. Over a lawyer's fingers who straight dream on fees. Over a lady's lips who straight on kisses dream. Which off the angry mab with blisters plagues because their breasts with sweet meats tainted are. Sometimes she gallops to wear a courtier's nose and then dreams he is smelling out a suit. Sometimes she takes a pig ties pig's tail and drives it over a person's nose as it lies asleep, tickling. Then dreams he of another benefice. Sometimes she drives the war a soldier's neck, and then dreams he of breaches, ambuscados, healths five fathoms deep, Spanish blades, and then drums and starts and wakes, being less frightened, and swears a prayer or two, and then goes back to sleep. This is that very Mav that plats the manes of horses in the night, which once untangled much misfortune bodes. This is the hag when maids lie on their backs, that presses them and learns them first to bear, making them woman of good carriage. This is she!